Welcome to ABC's Grab and Go On Demand webcast. Today's presentation will be Regeneration Process Overview. This information will cover equipment that is manufactured to meet the latest EPA regulation standards. Let's talk about performing a stationary regeneration, as well as stopping a regeneration and the appropriate location for a regeneration. While operating vehicles with EPA 07 or newer emissions, it is possible to get a message on the dash such as DPF regeneration required. When this symbol appears to indicate that the particular filter has to be regenerated at the next opportunity. If you continue driving without carrying out a regeneration, the symbol will start to flash after a while. Carry out a regeneration immediately. Let's look at the regeneration buttons in the engine compartment. After opening the rear engine door, you'll be able to locate the rear remote box located in the upper right hand corner. You will find two buttons have been added. Button number one, regeneration inhibit, push button with integrated lamp. Number two, stationary regeneration request, also with a push button. To request a stationary regeneration, select an appropriate location to park the vehicle. Refer to appropriate location for stationary regeneration. This information can also be found in section 5 of our Van Hool EPA 2010 operating manual, which we'll go over later in this presentation. Apply the parking brake. Make sure the transmission is in neutral position. Put shocks in front of and behind the wheels. Shut off the climate control system. And set up a safety area around the exhaust. Refer to safety area around exhaust. This information can also be found in section 5 of our Van Hool EPA 2010 operating manual, which we'll go over later in this presentation. To request a stationary regeneration. Now that you're ready to perform a stationary regeneration, we can carry out the actions below. Release the parking brake and reapply it. Put transmission from neutral to drive and back to neutral. Press force regeneration button for 5 to 10 seconds. Regeneration in process. Observe the vehicle and its immediate surroundings during regeneration. The regeneration process takes 20 to 40 minutes. The regeneration has succeeded if the engine speed automatically returns to idling speed and if the DPF regeneration symbol does not reappear on the dash display. If the DPF regeneration symbol reappears, the regeneration process has failed. In that case, try the previous steps again. If further assistance is needed, call for technical assistance. To interrupt regeneration. Warning! If an unsafe situation occurs, stop the regeneration process immediately by pushing the brake pedal or by switching off the engine. The regeneration process is also stopped if you momentarily press the regeneration inhibit button. To inhibit regeneration, caution. Only use this function for a short while. Carbon accumulates in the device if the engine keeps running with this function on. If regeneration causes hazardous situations, you can inhibit the regeneration process. To end this, momentarily press the regeneration inhibit button. The lamp integrated in the push button comes on. On the dash display appears the text, DPF regeneration inhibited. Safety area around exhaust. If bystanders can access the area, set up barriers at least 5 feet away from the exhaust. If regeneration takes place in a confined space, 
connect an exhaust gas evacuation system to the exhaust pipe. The evacuation system has to resist temperatures of at least 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. And keep a fire extinguisher nearby. Appropriate location for stationary regen. Select a surface that will not start to burn or melt under high temperatures, such as clean concrete, grass, or asphalt. Ensure you are away from anything that can burn, melt, or explode. Do not be near gas or vapors that can ignite, explode, or contribute to fire such as liquid propane gas or diesel vapors. All this information can also be found in our Van Hool EPA 2010 Operator's Manual in Section 5. For questions regarding this webcast, please contact ABC Customer Care Technical Service Department at 877-427-7278. Listen for the prompts for coach technical support and select the appropriate option. Support is available at this number 24-7. A friendly reminder, ABC's Customer Care Department also offers technical service support 24-7, 365 days of the year. Contact us at 877-427-7278. Listen for the prompts for coach technical support and select the appropriate option. Support is available at this number 24-7.